Hello, uh, people that like the chunk 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 music. People that like the heavier stuff. People that like the pointy guitars and maybe a little bit of an extension in the lower range. So I've made a little video with Perry Ormsby at uh, Guitar Summit last year. After that, I hung out with uh, Dave Friedman uh, at uh, Musik Produktiv, and across from us was uh, Music Facts. And they had Ormsby and Mayonnaise and Sue and other things. And uh, we just ran over because we were kind of bored and uh, we played all the amazing Friedman guitars already. <laughs> and we ran over, like grabbed a Mayonnaise and some Ebola and Dave and I were ch ch checking them out. And then we grabbed some Ormsby's. And every time we grabbed one of those Ormsby's, it was like, how is this possible? The freaking sustain doesn't end. We we're very impressed by the guitars. Um, and uh, I already am good friends with the people from Mayonnaise and I have two here, one that I can't show you right now, but you will see it when, when I can. Um, and, well, it was about time to have a serious metal axe. Uh, and this should be, well, I haven't played it, but this should be it. So, the nice people from Musifax, uh organized that for me. And that means I get the guitar in trade for advertising it. Which means whenever I have something like a pedal that needs a heavier guitar or an amp that needs a heavier guitar or a track that needs a rhythm thing with seven or whatever, I'll grab that off the wall and in trade I get to keep the guitar. This is how it sometimes works. No people, I don't buy the things that are on the walls here. Some, some of you think that's how it is, but no, I don't pay for the gear. Um, and if I don't get paid to show the gear, then it is a trade like this, which benefits me to have something high-end to show you and to use in videos. And for them, it works out because you get to see a cool piece of gear and maybe say, hey, I want that. Um, but obviously, it needs to be something that I can support. It needs to be something where, where I say, hey, this is really good shit. How do, how do you get to it? I don't think this is how you get to it. Did I open the wrong side? I think I opened the wrong side. This guitar is about 1690 something like this and it comes apparently in a hard shell case now that's nice and in, in a, with a purple sticker that must be coincidence or it might not be because the people at music facts are cool um it says hanging poly so ormsby guitars from aussie trailer but uh, these are made in not Australia. These are not the custom shops. These are, these are the more affordable ones. I think the custom shops are way past three grand. Um, I'm noticing the case is not very deep. That's kind of cool. So they sent me two options. It was very torn. Opaque blue with a maple fretboard. I, I love the idea of an Ormsby multi-scale six string because I can use six strings in more videos and show you the guitar more often than seven strings, okay? Seven strings is once in a while, six strings is whenever, uh, well, still, it makes sense when the guitar fits the video. So, but that opaque blue was just a opaque blue and it seemed a little bit, it was cool, but not like, oh my God. And then I was like, well, they had one other one. And that was a seven string. I would have loved it with a maple fretboard, but it didn't have one. Well, but it has a grain and I'm, I'm a sucker for grain. And it's... Ah, you can't, oh, there, oh, there's another camera. There you go. So before we, this is, this is clever. This is nothing. This is preventing the guitar from pushing this bit in because I've seen cases where the guitar pushes this in. See, because it can, well, it's not a super form-fitting case. And there's a little bit of a pearl in there. Um, so the guitar will slushle around in there. That should be fitted better, almost be people. And I've seen the cheap Toman cases where this pushes through here and then the guitar bangs into the case and actually breaks the case from the inside and it breaks the headstock. Um, they're clever for putting this in here. I think they should be even cleverer 
even more clever and get a better case that actually where this isn't happening because this will sooner or later break the guitar. So when I move around with this, I will put this in a high-end gig bag, not in this case. There's no case candy in here, no hello, no authenticity, authenticity anything. So I'm gonna go with this, it's probably a cheaper case, but it's there. Oh, 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 oh it feels so nice. It's rather cold. It literally came in 10 minutes ago and literally will be used in the video for Boss once we're done filming this. Um, so you have a cavity cover right here, which covers the jack uh, thing, which is right here, which is a very strange place for it, except for that it can go right on the strap. Um, this is a set neck guitar with an absolutely insane um, neck joint there. It's just super smooth. It's got a three piece neck. Big ass volute right there. Oh, there we go. Locking tuners, they look like hip shot. Ormsby, uh, they look like hip shot to me, but I don't know. And an insanely big headstock. Cause it is seven in line and it's just, it's, it's pretty damn big. And you could technically just hang this on a nail in the wall and you'd be good. So you really don't actually need a guitar hook. You just need a nail with some rubber around it. Um, I think this is a hip shot bridge, multi-scale, three position switch. There is a single coil option. These look like possibly lumen lays. They could be lumen lays. Um, what you immediately feel on these arm speeds is how well it's built, how well the frets sit. It's a thicker kind of a flat neck. I don't, I, there, there's chunk there, but it is flat. Everything about this is hefty, massive. So I'm gonna plug it in with probably something that you wouldn't plug it in with this bullet collie cable. Boink. I have some weaker amps on. We need some strong amps. So of course we have a B here. Super to the point tuners. Nice and smooth. Now I'm trying to start, I'm starting to think, how am I gonna hang this on my wall hangers? Is that gonna work? There's a lot of resonance, a lot. So we're gonna go to, let's do clean. So I'm in the Tone King now. And it's pushing it quite a bit because it's a heavy ax. Massive tone there. Single call in the front. There's already a lot of tonal options right there. And it's just, it's so harpoony. It's harpoonesque. Mm -hmm. It's a 
tone monster. It's got this super thick tone. Uh, we're going to go to a JCM 800, which again is probably not metally enough for this, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> scale thing is clearly evident because the response of the low strings is right there. There's no flabbiness whatsoever. Um, well, this isn't a full review. It's a first impression thing. And I'm going to have to fight with the seven string. I've played seven strings since 1990. My second guitar was a seven string, but I don't do it every day. So there is a little bit of a, oh, let, let's get into it again. So here we are in the ref 100p, which is purple. The guitar is purple. And why not? Ah! Let me go to the software on the TAE and pick one of Glenn's. Where is it? Ref V30. Go to you. Get the vo get the low end down. Now I've got a coffee caps V30. I'm taming the low end because Glenn likes his IRs are very low endy. Um, and the guitar is obviously super hefty. So. Okay. And look, it's matching. Well, this Elvis dude. Uh, I'm mixing it in with the uh, Dixon aluminum cap that's behind me. Let's uh, get some sounds right there.
I don't know, I'm just making shit up, but it's massive and it's defined. No matter what I do, even in complex chords. <laughs> all there uh yeah and uh, the the whole uh fanny necky thing is uh, literally i don't even notice it i literally don't even know it's there um let me get some more leadsy sounds here switching to different cab again <laughs> I think this is called the hype. I don't know. Wow! Uh, leads are just ridiculous. The clarity, the the longevity, which is called sustain. Um, no, this is a great, great instrument. Um, it's got a bevel here. It's got a bevel all around. Um, this looks like... I know you want stats, but what do I know? It's a guitar uh, made out of wood. This looks swamp ashy, two-piece body swamp ash for rules. Maple thing pickups by don't ask me. I just play these damn things. Look it up um, It has frets Are they stainless steel? I'm gonna say sure. I, I, I really I have no idea I just take it took it out of the thing. I'll tell you more about it as I play it Point is it's fun and it's definitely one of the prime modern metal guitars out there uh, they, though, these don't have to hide in any way uh, behind Mayonnaise, Schecter, Ibanez, all of these modern, you know, metal guitar things. I kind of even think that in this price range, maybe the others have to hide behind them. Or at least we should shoot them out, but we probably shouldn't. Let's not piss anyone off. This is a good instrument. <laughs> Watch out, competition! Uh, thanks to MusiFact, uh, Brian, Mikhail, and all these guys for sending this over. I shall play it because it's good. And links below. You get these at Music Productive, as far as I know, which is pretty damn cool. And uh, check out Music Productive. Uh, and yeah, animals at the end. Mm -hmm. 